Good morning, everyone. Thank you for the opportunity to share what I feel the Lord has given me to share with everyone this morning. First of all, let us pray. Lord, we thank you for waking us up this morning. Thank you for all that you have done and are doing in our lives each and every day. Lord, we thank you for Jesus dying on that cross for all of our sins. Lord, we thank you for making a way where there was no way for us to be saved through the death, the burial, and the resurrection of Jesus. Thank you for your unconditional love for all of us that reassures us that you will never leave us or forsake us. Lord, we pray for everyone today as we go about our way. Lord, not our will, but your will be done. Here we are, Lord, your servants, willing and ready to serve in any way you see fit. And there's things we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. This morning, I'd like to start out with a little course that I learned from my home church, Cambridge United Methodist Church. It's called Loving God. Loving God, loving each other, making music with our friends. Loving God, loving each other, and the story never ends. Thank you so much for letting me share that song. It's special to my heart because the story will never end if we know Jesus. And I pray that everyone will come to know Jesus Christ before it is too late. We know that this month is Thanksgiving and this is the week before Thanksgiving. This Thursday will be Thanksgiving. So I was thinking about what I have to be thankful for. And I'm sure that you're thinking about those things as well this week as we go about our way getting ready for Thanksgiving. Um, I want to share some of the ones that I have to be thankful for. I thank that he woke us up this morning and every morning. I'm thankful for food and clothing and shelter and for God's word and for the promises in his word and our good health, a coffee with a friend, uh, 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 the gift of God's grace, grace that's greater than all of our sins. We have modern technology that we can talk to our family uh, all over the world. It's just awesome. God's mercy that's renewed every morning. We celebrate holidays like Thanksgiving and Christmas and every holiday with our friends and our loved ones. We know that Jesus died on that cross for all of our sins. We thank you for the breath of life and the freedom to worship, music to enjoy, and the God-given talents that God has given each and every one of us. We have fresh water to drink. We have a job. We have the privilege to do good for others. Next, I'd like to share an inspiration. It's called every day is thanksgiving even though i clutch my blanket and growl when the alarm clock rings each morning thank you lord that i can hear there are many who are deaf even though i keep my eyes tightly closed against the morning light as long as possible thank you lord that i can see there are many who are blind even though i huddle in my bed and pull off the effort of rising Thank you, Lord, that I have the strength to rise. There are many who are bedridden. Even though the first hour of the day is hectic, when socks are lost, toast is burned, and tempers are short, thank you, Lord, for my family. There are many who are lonely. Even though our breakfast table never looks like the pictures in the magazines and the menu is at times unbalanced, thank you, Lord, for the food we have. There are many who are hungry. Even though the routine of my job is often difficult, I thank you, Lord, for the opportunity to work. There are many who do not have a job. Even though I grumble and complain of my fate and I wish my circumstances were not so modest, thank you, Lord, for the gift of life. Next, I'd like to share an inspiration. It says, He maketh no mistake. My Father's ways may twist and turn. My heart may throb and ache. But in my soul, I'm glad to know he maketh no mistake. My cherished plans may go astray. My hopes may fade away. But still I trust my Lord to lead, for he doth know the way. The night be dark, and it may seem that day will never break. I'll pin my faith, my all in him. He maketh no mistake. There's so much that I cannot see. My eyesight's far too dim. But come what may, I'll simply trust and leave it all to him. For by and by the mist will lift, and plain it all he'll make. Through all the way, though dark to me, he maketh no mistake. My father's ways may twist and turn, 
my heart may throb and ache, but in my soul I'm glad I know he maketh no mistake. The next one I like to share, I love this one, uh, said the robin to the sparrow, I would surely like to know why these anxious human beings rush about and worry so. Said the sparrow to the robin, Friend, I think that it must be that they have no heavenly father such as cares for you and me. Hope you enjoyed that as much as I do. Next inspiration I'd like to share is called The Secret. One day, one friend asked another, How is it that you're always so happy? You have so much energy, and you never seem to get down. With her eyes smiling, she said, I know the secret. What secret is that? To which she replied, I'll tell you all about it, but you have to promise to share the secret with others. The secret is, I have learned there is little I can do in my life that will make me truly happy. I must depend on God to make me happy and to meet my needs. When a need arises in my life, I have to trust God to supply according to His riches. I have learned most of the time I don't need half of what I think I do. He has never let me down. Since I learned that secret, I'm happy. The questioner first thought, whoa, that was too easy. But upon reflecting upon her own life, she recalled how she thought a bigger house would make her happy, but it didn't. She thought a bigger pay and job would make her happy, but it hadn't. When did she realize her greatest happiness? Sitting on the floor with her grandchildren, playing games, eating pizza, or reading a story, a simple gift from God. Now you know it too. We can't depend on people to make us happy. Only God in his infinite wisdom can do that. Trust him. And now I pass the secret on to you. So once you get it, what will you do? You have to tell someone the secret too, that God in his wisdom will take care of you. But it's not really a secret. We just have to believe it and do it. Really trust God. That reminds me of John three sixteen, And now let's just pass it on to everyone we knew, know. And we may God bless each and every one of you as you tell the secret. Thank you so much for that one. I have another inspiration. It says, God's plan. This comes from Ephesians 3.20. This is God talking to us. Take my hand and walk with me, for I know what to do. When it comes down to the plan that I have for you. Do not fret what the world looks down on the stand you take. Just look to me and always be ready to obey. I know every desire hidden within your heart. I was the one who planted them there from the very start. Your mind cannot begin to imagine what I'm going to do. I will guide you, and to my glory your life will be used. Take my hand and walk with me, knowing without a doubt that the God who made you has things completely filled out. I hope you enjoyed that inspiration as much as I enjoyed sharing it with you. Next, I'd like to share uh, inspiration. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. That's from Matthew 6, 33. This inspiration I would like to share is in remembrance of all of our loved ones. This is what I feel they're saying to all of us today as we celebrate this Thanksgiving season. I am at rest, so don't cry. It will be Christmas as time goes by. I've done my best to live a good life, for I knew if I did, I could be with Jesus. As my body lay there, it was only a shell. God has called me home, and my job I've done well. Now I'm happy and very content for the things I've done. I know it is hard on earth. We know the Bible says we should not cry at death, but at birth. But we cry at death instead of birth, because the birth you have much to go. I have no worries, pain, or fear, because I'm with Jesus, so dry your tears. I love you all, and this is what I want you to do. Put God first in your life, and I'll be seeing you soon. Love, Jesus. Those are inspirations I'd like to share this week. I know we're getting ready for Thanksgiving, and I hope everyone will have a happy Thanksgiving. Enjoy your family and your loved ones, because we know that our family and our loved ones, everybody that come in contact with, those are people 
that we will see again in heaven. Let's pray for everybody, love everybody, and just rejoice because of what Jesus has done for us. And let's just celebrate Thanksgiving together as brothers and sisters in Christ and pray for everyone. I just ask all these things, and I just want to thank you for letting me share these inspirations with you and have an awesome Thanksgiving. Thank you.